latch it up, baby. One press to turn things on, and another turns things off. Simple as that. Hey, what's happening, guys? We're back with another classic circuits you should know, and this one is a uh, 4011 latch. Basically, what we're doing is we're using uh, two NAND gates and a toggle push button to switch and output high and low. It's really simple. So we're using the uh, CD4011BE, and uh, we're using uh, the first gate, which are pins 1, 2, and 3, and the second gate, which are pins 5, 6, and 4. And then just a couple capacitors, a couple resistors. And what happens... I should have. There we go. What happens is when you press the button, this capacitor is initially going to ensure that the input on this first gate goes low. Afterwards, it's going to swap between low and high, low and high. So if, for instance, you were to take on the output, input, an LED, well, then it would just go low, high, low, high, low, high. Something really simple like that, which I have done up here for us right here. Now, I know it looks crazy because there's a, a whole bunch of uh, wires in there, but really nothing to it. Just hook it up. And then all I have to do is get that in the frame there, press the button, ba ding, and press it again, ba ding, and it's off. Nothing to it. Super simple. A great circuit you should know. But let's make it even better. What if we want to take this circuit and make it into a power switch for something? You know, that has that requires more power than an LED. Well, we can do that really simply. Okay, all I've added here is a P-channel MOSFET. We'll be coming in to the uh, drain side with our input power, and the source side will be what we're switching on and off, whether it's a microcontroller or whatever our project is, you know. Whatever our project is, is over here. I believe our project just became a robot. So anyway, it is over there. Now, if we ignore our LED here, and we simply come up to this point right here, and we bring the gate of our MOSFET, here, what will end up happening is it will act like an automatic switch. One button press and it will go auto on. On the next button press it will go auto off. I don't have a P-channel MOSFET in stock here so I can't show you how this works. But basically you're just taking this output here and running it up to the MOSFET alongside this one here from the uh, 100k resistor. That's all it is. Anyway, the CD4011 latch. Super simple. If I can do it, you can do it. And what's neat is you really don't even have to use NAND gates. You could actually get through it using um, sh uh, Schmidt triggers with some feedback. I mean, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. We will do a video up on that. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to all you guys who have been sending me well wishes. Doing the best we can here. Hunkered down in the bunker. Um, taking care of what we got to take care of and trying to stay healthy. You do the same. Wash your hands. Avoid people. We'll get through this. Alright, that's it. I'm out.
peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.